Hello and thanks for joining me for this Thought for the Day for Tuesday the 4th of August. And we're on the second one in our series in Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 20. Uh, the Supreme Son. Uh, these verses are about God the Son. And in verse 16 it says, For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Uh, in, in this verse, it, it begins uh, with a four, uh, and it's pointing back to verse 15, and says that this verse is giving the reason, the rationale, for, for why the Son uh, is the, the most important being in all of creation. And, uh, uh, and we're told it's because in him all things were created. Um, uh, what this means, that it, the in is a bit vague, uh, but it's saying that uh, creation is all about the Son. Creation is all about the sun. Everything to do with creation uh, was, is tied up uh, with Jesus. Uh, Paul wants to make it really clear uh, that he means absolutely everything. Uh, you know, he says all things. All things is a, is a refrain in, in these verses. Uh, but he, he, he wants to nail it completely in this verse. He says things in heaven and on earth. Uh, which is, uh, you know, everything above and everything down below. It's saying absolutely everything, uh, visible or invisible, um, the spiritual realm as well as the, the physical realm, um, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities in both the spiritual and the physical world. Um, it's saying absolutely everything that could have any control, all of them were created by Jesus. Uh, at the end of the verse, all things have been created through Jesus. He was the agent of creation. Uh, he was there at the beginning and God used him to create everything. And, uh, and all things were created at the end there for him. Jesus is the goal of creation. Creation is for Jesus's glory. Uh, the purpose uh, of God the Father planning to create through Jesus uh, was, was for Jesus. And it's that in that sense, that Jesus was the one who created all things uh, and that uh, he's the, the goal of creation. And that's the sense, I mean, when creation is all about the sun. And th that leads us to ask the question of ourselves. Uh, if creation is all about the sun, is my life, I'm a creative being, is my life all about the sun? Is Jesus supreme in my life? Or is something Jesus created supreme in my life? If my friends were to, 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 to look at me and say, uh, what is the, the most important thing in my life? What is my life all about? Uh, what's, the, what's the goal of my life? Uh, what, what, what gives me reason to le live? Uh, would they say the sun? Would they say Jesus? Or would it be something that Jesus created? There's another way uh, we can ask this question of ourselves, and it's to ask is what, if it was removed from our lives, uh, would make life not worth living anymore? It's easy for me to think that if my wife and my children were taken away from me, uh, that, that life wouldn't uh, uh, be worth living anymore. Um, but actually, the, the only thing in our lives that should be that important uh, should be Jesus. He, he is supreme in creation. All creation was made through him and for him. Uh, if anything else uh, is supreme in our lives, and that's called idolatry, it, we're worshipping the wrong thing. We're not worshipping the true God. And so uh, let me pray that Jesus will be supreme in our lives. Father, we praise you for Jesus. Uh, we praise you uh, for his supremacy in all of creation. Uh, we acknowledge, Father, and are sorry for the way that we make Jesus's creation uh, about ourselves or about things that are created rather than chiefly about him. Forgive us for that because he died in our place. But Father, please would you tune our hearts and point them towards the Son so that we would make him supreme in our lives and supreme in his creation. But we know, Father, that is the best way to live. And we know that uh, all blessing comes from being living under Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Thanks again for tuning in. And I hope you join me as we continue to work through this, uh, this amazing passage about the supremacy of the sun. Take care. God bless.